Hey guys, wow. Welcome to another edition of All About the Music. And, um, oh man. Okay. So, wanted to talk to you guys. I was going through some of my, uh, some of the stuff on my computer. And I remembered, uh, this is a really cool movie. And it's really hard to find. If anybody knows how to get a hold of this movie or watch it today, let me know. Because I don't know how to find this movie, and it's one of my favorite movies of all time. It's called Warning Parental Advisory, and it's about the uh, the battle for um, the battle about the parental advisory sticker on music. And it was a really great film. Uh, it came out in 2002. And I just want to talk about it with you guys for a little bit. If you haven't seen it. Um, you know, again, I said I don't really know where you can find it now. I'm going to show you. Uh, this is it's a Wikipedia page. Here's the uh, here's the artwork for it. That's a D. Snyder from Twisted Sister. Um, it was a television movie. It's one of the one of the best television movies of all time. Uh, warning: colon parental advisory. It's a 2002 television film. Um, it was on VH1. I believe it was directed by Mark Waters. Um, I'm unfamiliar with his work, but uh, apparently anybody with the last name Waters just makes great films. You guys like John Waters? Uh, ooh, I could talk about him. He's kind of a rock and roll kind of guy, right? He's had some, ooh, the music of John Waters movies. Mm, that could be a good video, right? Let me know in the comments uh, if you want to see something like that. That would be pretty interesting. Um, if not, you know, I could do a separate series about John Waters. Who knows? I can do anything I want. I'm a YouTube extraordinaire. I can do anything. But right now, I want to focus on music. Uh, warning Parental Advisory. It's the story of Dee Snyder, John Denver, Frank Zappa, as they testify uh, at Congress against lyrics labeling laws. Um, the film focuses on the formation of the Parental Advisory Resource Center and it impacts and its impact on music during 1985. What a good year. Oh man. Anybody else born in 85? Gosh, we're so ancient now. Um, it's got Jason Priestley, Marielle Hemingway as Tipper Gore, Griffin Dune as Zappa, and Dee Snyder as himself. The introductory speech that Snyder gives in the film before testifying is the same speech he gave in court in 1985. Now, this is from the Wikipedia page, so I did not write this. I'm just, I'm kind of, uh, kind of just skimming through it and giving you my interpretation of the Wikipedia page as YouTubers are known to do. I don't have my glasses on, so I might be on, I could be on the Wikipedia page of like, anything and I'm, I, I can't see. Can you guys see me without my glasses on? Man, my vision's bad. So, um, so you get a Frank Zappa, D. Snyder, um, you get uh, Charlie Burner, Tipper Gore is uh, like the, the villain of the film. I'm surprised that John Denver's uh, um, alignment with this, right? Like, was John Denver making controversial songs or was he just an advocate for free speech I don't know I haven't delved uh, deep into the world of John Denver aside from a handful of songs that are really good um, I don't know that I've heard a bad song by John Denver but I don't remember him cursing or singing about murdering people or you know savagely doing things that twist I'm gonna put my glasses back on um, so you get uh, but yeah, Al Gore, Tipper Gore, um, they were, uh, you know, and you can understand both sides of this. Um, I, you know, I'm all for free speech, but maybe there should be, uh, you know, just a definition of what is on an album. Um, you know, as a father now, I, um, I could kind of see where maybe you would want a warning if a band or an artist was talking about extreme uh, extremely offensive things or extremely sexual or violent things you know you might want a heads up um, so I kind of I see both sides of this um, but it was a very entertaining film 
if any of you guys can help me find this movie uh, on the internet or you know I'd pay for it I, I'd uh, you know I get it legally if I could find it somewhere but um, it's directed by Mark S. Waters uh, produced by Stephen Haft written by Jay Martell starring Mariel Hemingway of went through the actors at least April 21st 2002 I was uh, I was a junior in high school uh, it's a hundred minutes it was a uh, it's an American film uh, it's in English of course and uh, just a fantastic movie um, let's see what else Mark Waters has directed he's directed the house of yes head over heels this movie freaky Friday I had the soundtrack to that, the 2003 Freaky Friday. They seem to remake that movie every year. Why? Why? We don't need another Freaky Friday remake. Okay? Stop it. The Body Swap. Ugh. Mean Girls, Just Like Heaven, The Spider Whip Chronicles, The Ghost of Girlfriends Past, Mr. Popper's Penguins, Vampire Academy, Bad Santa 2, and Magic Camp. Hmm, he's got an interesting filmography there, Mark Waters. But uh, yeah, anyway, so parental advisory. Um, you know, it's a warning label uh, by the Record Industry Association of America, the RIAA, adapted by the British Phonography in 2011. Uh, it, you know, it identifies uh, profanity and inappropriate references with the intention of alerting parents of material potentially unsuitable for children. <gasps> Ooh, I didn't know it was on comp cassette tapes. Do you guys have any dirty cassette tapes? I don't think I have any. I've got, I still have my cassette. Ooh, that's another video right there. Cassette tape collection. They're in the file cabinet somewhere. They're not on display. But this stuff needs to be preserved so the future generations know about our CDs and our DVDs and our cassettes and our, uh, you know, our video cameras and, uh, you know, Kids need to know, right? Uh, let's see, Mary Tipper Gore. Uh, she was a blah 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 blah. Warning: tone of this record unsuitable for minors. An early version in the 80s. Uh, the edited versions. I, I've, I've got a lot of edited versions. Um, I'm at a bad boy trying to jump on my chains. has been on you. And happy ever after did exist There would still be old and you like this And all those fairy tales are full of it One more love song I'll be sick Met a girl, thought she was grand Thought a girl, that burst and out Anyway, so, yeah, if you guys can find that movie, it'd be great. Thanks. Bye. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. <gasps> like and subscribe.